Hi everyone, my name is Max. I'm here with Marketing Q today, and today I'm going to show you how to use Smart Slider 3 in order to make a moving slider for your website. So to start off, what you're going to do is select the new slider button. From there, you have the option to either choose from start with a template or create a new project. What we're going to do today is create a new project. From here, you get to name your project as well as set the width, the height, and the layout. layout. For today, we're going to be using a box layout, and we're going to name the project Test Slider 1. From here, you have the options to also choose between a block and a slider, or if you want a carousel or a showcase. For these, you have to pay the extra money and pay for the premium. So today, we're going to use the simple slider, which is what we've used for many clients. Another quick tip is that depending on the slider that you want to use, it's really important to take note of the width and the height that you use. For a full width slider, you'll want to use the width of 1920 pixels, and for the height, you'd want 1080. For this scenario, we're using a box layout, so it won't matter too much. From there, we just hit Create. Okay, congratulations, we've created our first slider. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the options that are down here in the Test Slider 1 control room. So just looking at the general area, we have up here the publish, which is very important. We have the short, short code here, which I'll show you guys how to use in later videos. What you'll do is you take this slide short code, you'll take it, you'll take it to a page and you just put it down on that page. And then when you go to that page, your slider will appear. You can also use the PHP code if you'd want, and then insert that into your theme. If you decide later that you don't like the name of your slide, you can always rename it here, give it a thumbnail image or an alias even. From there, you can also go to the slide size. So if you ever choose that you want a different size slider, you can pick something else. So uh, let's say perhaps we want our height to be 700 or 800. We can go ahead and pick that. Uh, you also have to keep in mind what Smart Slider does, which is really awesome. It gives you the option to edit your slides based on if you want to look at it from a desktop view, a tablet view, or a mobile view, which is very useful. In addition to that, you can pick the box or the full width. And there you can go to the controls. Now, these are also super neat. The Smart Slider 3 gives you the option to customize the arrows that you can use. So for today's, we're going to be using this option here, which uh, I believe is more aesthetically pleasing, but perhaps this will look really nice on your site too with that cool accent color that you can set. Uh, for this, we kind of like this translucent look here, so I'm going to keep that as well. But if you did want to go in, here is the style board, uh, which I'll slide over here a little bit for you so you can see the background color here, the opacity of the arrows, padding, border, etc. And then if you want to do something else, what's really neat is the bullet option, which I love to use. And I'll show you how to do this. So the dot style is something that we want to use. So here we have the three dot style here, which is really neat. Uh, no background color, a little opacity, stuff like that. We'll set that as apply so we can turn that on uh, and make sure that the bullet is showing and it'll look really neat. From there, you just have other options here like animations, autoplay, which will allow you to have the slides move at their own pace. Uh, optimizing just allows you to set an image to the certain size that Smart Slider 3 deems the best, as well as loading, slides, and developer. So from here, what we're going to do next is jump into slides. I'm going to take you through the steps of creating three different slides and using various tools in Smart Slider 3. Uh, please tune in on the next video, and we'll start slide one.